This is Matt from Gaslamp Computers, and in this video I'm going to show you how to run MemTest to determine if your memory subsystem is working properly. So why would you want to run MemTest? Uh, the general idea is that if your computer is crashing a lot, really if your computer is crashing at all, meaning it hangs and you have to reboot it, or you get a blue screen and it, and it reboots, or it just seemingly reboots for no reason. Uh, one of the possible causes uh, is that you have bad memory in some part of your computer. So to see if you have an uh, improperly functioning memory subsystem, you would run MemTest. And MemTest can be found at memtest.org. So we'll go there now. Uh, it's called MemTest 86 Plus. And the way you run it is to go to Download, Prebuilt, and ISOs. You want to download the latest version, which is version 4.0, as of making this video. Uh, it's currently late November. Uh, download the pre-compiled bootable ISO zip file. This will allow you to run MemTest 86 Plus from a bootable CD. Okay, we'll save this file. Right click on it and go to Extract. And now you need to burn this ISO file as an image to a CD and I'll post a link to my uh, video on Info Recorder that shows you how to burn an ISO image to a CD. But I'm assuming you're able to burn an ISO image to a CD and so once you do that put the CD in the drive and then restart your computer and that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I've put the CD in the drive and booted up MemTest, and this is the screen you'll get when MemTest is running. So what we have here is it's detected our processor and the amount of cache on our CPU. And it's detected our chipset and the amount of memory we have. And up here is the uh, percentage of the pass that it's done. Uh, this is uh, like once the pass goes to 100%, MemTest has run all of its tests. Uh, it can take a very long time for the pass number to get to 100%. Uh, it's generally recommended that you run MemTest overnight or over several days and to detect uh, any errors in your memory subsystem. Now, MemTest isn't a diagnostics tool. It's not going to tell you what's wrong with your memory, and it's not going to tell you how to fix it. It's just going to tell you that there's something wrong with your memory. So down here you have the total time that uh, MemTest has been running, uh, the amount of memory you have, The test you're running, which is standard, uh, you can ignore reserve memory, memory map, and cache for now. Uh, the pass you're on, you're currently, you've completed zero passes. Uh, you're 5% at your first pass. And here are the errors. And you should note that even one error is not acceptable. So if you get even one error, uh, there is something wrong with your memory subsystem and I recommend uh, if you don't have the skills to diagnose it correctly uh, you can try posting at the MemTest 86 forums or you may just uh, save the headache and take your computer into a repair shop or replace the memory sticks yourself 
and what you can do is if you have multiple memory sticks you can pull out one of them uh, reboot your compu computer and run memtest again on just one stick uh, and then run it on the other stick. Uh, if it finds errors on one but not the other, uh, that's a pretty solid way to determine that one, st one stick of memory uh, has gone bad. So, like I said, memtest can take a very long time to run, and even if it doesn't find errors on one full pass, uh, due to the way memtest works and running random tests on random sections of memory uh, you might find errors on more than on subsequent passes so uh, really as long as you can tolerate mem test to run that's how long you should run it uh, at least give it one full pass to find errors and if you leave it running overnight you should be able to get multiple passes in uh, depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, you can see we're already at 11% of the first pass. And uh, if you run mem tests and let it go for 10 passes and still have zero errors, you can fairly safely, though not definitively, count out your memory subsystem as being part of what is causing your computer to crash. So I hope this has helped you out. Uh, this is how to run Memtest 86 Plus version 4.0 from a bootable CD. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a YouTube comment or check out the blog at Gaslamp Computers. Uh, if you're local in the San Diego area, uh, you can have Gaslamp Computers check out your computer for you. So check out gaslampcomputers.com.